Ladies and gentlemen, she alone and has been announced for version 5.1 of Genshin Impact and she's going to be released in phase one and that is going to be very, very important. Now, she alone is a Geo character, but she has so much potential to do so much more and I will let you guys know on how you are going to be doing that through going her kit. Okay, I'm going to have a simplified form of her kit within this video so keep that in mind so shilonen is going to be a geo sword user which is pretty awesome and she has a pretty interesting mechanic with her knight soul blessing allowing you to do something similar to decreasing elemental resistance for your team now in order for that to happen you have to be in your night soul blessing state which is after you activate your elemental skill your elemental skill is then going to allow you to collect quote unquote samplers which is basically just saying if you align with either hydro cryo pyro whatever it is you will be able to decrease elemental resistance of that type you can i think up to three elements which is pretty awesome and allows you to get a lot of value from shilonen this is something similar to viridescent burn or viridescent set which you can decrease elemental resistance which is pretty awesome and i am sure that you'll be able to use viridescent anyway within this whole scenario the only thing is that you can't decrease animo nor dendro with shilonen which is pretty interesting if you ask me and also, if you guys align the samplers with Geo, you get a Geo buff instead and allows you to deal more damage with Shilonen's normal attacks, which is pretty awesome. She is a hybrid of a damage dealer, of a support character, and if you use her elemental burst, and your elemental burst is of different types, so Hydro, Cryo, Pyro, whatever it is, you will heal your teammates for a certain amount of uh, hp so i think somewhere between 10,000 hp is possible which is awesome and you'll deal some damage at the same time this is massive this makes her a damage dealer possibly a support and a healer which is amazing she already has amazing value and a very relevant character since the release of maybe fiorina which is going to be very very important here we also have different characters that are also going to be coming out in 5.1 like Nahida, Hu Tao, and Chiyori. So you guys have to keep that in mind as well. Jilonen is going to definitely be a very important character within Natlin. And generally, she's going to be pretty awesome within your teams. And she's going to help you out as much as maybe a character like Kazuha. She has the elemental resistance decrease. She has the ability to do damage and the ability to heal your teammates. She's going to be a massive character for everyone. Now, I'm sure there's also some more things in between her kit that allows her to do even more damage like her passives, which is pretty awesome. So if you have more than one character that uses Night Soul Blessing points, whatever it's called, um, you can refund some of that thanks to Shalonin's passive, which is pretty awesome. She's definitely a really relevant character to nowadays that I think it's going to be a pretty awesome time with Shilonen in general and you guys get to have another character that is worth a lot i think they really are trying to push geo within the meta once again but because of how she works it's not very geo oriented i think most of us at least will be using her as a support character or as a healer or whatever it may be rather than full-on just geo damage even though i think that would be a pretty cool way to play with shilonen and I, I don't know, she just has a lot within her kit. She's definitely a hybrid character and one that is worth uh, going for. And I think I personally am going to go for Shilonen and hopefully um, I see you guys go for her as well. And let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. If you guys are going for the, are you going to summon Shilonen? Are you going to not summon for Shilonen? Let me know. But also, um, some new event stuff that's go you know shown in the live stream whatever it is and the new weapon the new weapon looks kind of interesting i feel like it doesn't really fit shilonen at least not personally i don't think it it just looks a little bit unusual but yeah 
uh, that's that's uh, that's that's all for me. That's all I, I have uh, to think about that scenario.